Hello everyone, I'm here to present the famous education philosopher John Dewey. John Dewey was born on October 20th, 1859 in Burlington, Vermont. His father Archibald Dewey was involved in trading and he owned a tobacco shop. His mother was the daughter of a wealthy farmer. He had three brothers, unfortunately one died as an infant. John was married twice and had six children. As a child, he attended Burlington Public Schools. At only 15 years old, he enrolled at the University of Vermont. He graduated from Vermont in 1879 after receiving a degree in philosophy. He graduated from Johns Hopkins University to receive his PhD in philosophy. Dewey is well known for his publications about education. He is known as an American pragmatic philosopher, psychologist, and educational reformer whose ideas have been influential in education, philosophy, and psychology. Dewey took an interest in philosophy while attending Vermont, and he and his professor Torrey became very close while studying the subject of philosophy. Dewey worked as a high school teacher in Pennsylvania and as an elementary school teacher in Vermont. From 1884 to 1895, he had a faculty position at the University of Michigan with the help of George Morris. In 1894, Dewey joined the newly founded University of Chicago, where he developed his pragmatic philosophy. In 1899, Dewey was elected president of the American Psychological Association. In 1903, he set up the University of Chicago Laboratory Schools to actualize the pedagogical beliefs that provided materials for his first major work on education, the school and society. From 1904 until his retirement in 1930, he was professor of philosophy at Columbia University. In 1905, he became president of the American Philosophical Association. He was a longtime member of the American Federation of Teachers, the second largest teachers labor union in America. And he is considered one of the founders of the New School, a private nonprofit research university center in Manhattan, New York City. His major theories were in his writings named My Pedagogue, Creed, The School and Society, Democracy and Education, Experience and Education. John Dewey believed that education should be based on the principle of learning through doing. Pragmatism was the foundation of his various educational theories. But Dewey thought that people learn best through experience. He focused his concept of instrumentalism and in education on learning by doing or hands-on learning. Instrumentalism is a theory of knowledge created by Dewey in which ideas are seen to exist primarily as instruments for the solution of problems encountered in the environment. Dewey stressed that the importance of education in school not only as a place to gain content knowledge, but also as a place to learn how to live. He believed that students should learn through real life tasks and challenges. For example, he believed that math should be learned by learning proportions and cooking or figuring out how long it would take to get from one place to another by a mule. His educational philosophy helped forward the progressive education movement and spawn the development of experiential education programs and experiments. Do we believe that education starts with the needs and interests of the child? He believed reality is this only function of human mind, which uses social experience and scientific method. Do we believe that the truth is the important characteristic of knowledge and that knowledge is attained only through human experience? He believes that education is a process of living and not a preparation for future living. Do we believe that the teaching method should be student-centered, problem-solving, learning by doing project method, demonstration, and group work. Early in Dewey's career, he was influenced by his professor, Henry Torr. Dewey and Torr often studied privately together. Many of his philosophical pieces were inspired by the readings of the philosopher William James. He was always very supportive of improving education. He did not agree with the many ways of education. The autumn after Dewey graduated, his cousin landed him a teaching job at a seminary in Oil City, Pennsylvania. Two years later, 
Dewey lost the position when his cousin resigned as a principal of the seminary. After being laid off, Dewey went back to Vermont and started teaching at a private school in Vermont. During his free time, he read philosophical treatises and discussed them with his former teacher, Tori. As his fascination grew with the topic, Dewey decided to take a break from teaching in order to study philosophy and psychology at Johns Hopkins. George Morris and G. Stanley Hall were among the teachers there who influenced Dewey most. Teachers have a responsibility to provide a new level of instruction that is relevant, effective, and socially engaging for students. Through the use of tools such as cell phones, texting, instant messaging, chat rooms, and wikis, teachers can instruct students using the tools that they are already comfortable with to most effectively disperse information and academic content. By designing instruction to meet the social needs of students through the use of appropriate aligned technology, Dewey's social learning theory is evident in these classrooms. One teaching approach that stresses the importance of building a community of learners and shows evidence of Dewey's theories in the 21st century is the responsive classroom curriculum. It is a research-based approach to teaching grades K-8 through that focuses on the strong link between academic achievement and social-emotional learning. The premise behind the responsive classroom approach is that a high-quality education is built on the foundation of a safe and happy learning community. Many of John Dewey's theories and ideas are evident in the responsive classroom approach. Learning how to will is an awesome example of learning by doing. Science experiments help the students to learn by doing. Students are sociable by working together to accomplish their tasks. While performing science experiments, they have to learn to increase or decrease certain materials in order to receive the particular reaction they are looking for.